everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is gonna be another vlog. Okay, come over here, hi. And um, I'm currently at Best Buy. I'm about to get a MacBook Pro and come on, do some other things today that I'll be filming, so. Um, over here, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into the vlog. Okay, so I'm back home. I got the MacBook Pro, which I was a little undecided. I didn't know if I should get the MacBook Pro or the MacBook Air. So I text my cousin because she she's a little bit more tech savvy than I am. So I can't remember if I had a Air, MacBook Air or MacBook Pro before. Um, so I really didn't know which one to get. So I watched some videos last night and pretty much a lot of people were saying that the MacBook Pro is more powerful and you can do more edits um, on the MacBook Pro. So I am trying to learn how to do more edits on my YouTube channel or for my YouTube channel. And um, I just want to be able to have a powerful device to travel with when I am traveling um, on business with my husband or just traveling in general. So I'll still be able to conduct my business. Now, I normally use my tablet when I'm traveling, but um, I want to be able to have an option. Like, I'll probably take my tablet with me when I'm doing, like, I don't know, when I'm traveling, like, around the city, like, in the car. Normally, I'll pull it up if I need to, like, edit a video. Not edit a video, but, like, put ads in a video, put my end screens on the video and things like that because I can't do it for my cell phone. And, um... I also use my tablet for like notes, replying back to emails, processing orders. But I want, like I said, I want to be able to um, have something a little bit more powerful to take along with me. Now with my computer back there, I do use my computer, but not really too frequent. Um, I am thinking of just kind of trying to, I think there's a way where I can start a different like tab where I can, I can have all the kids stuff saved under it and then I can transition the computer for primarily their use and just keep some things on the computer for me and then primarily use like my laptop. I don't know, but I'm super excited for this purchase. Um, I did, like I said, do some research last night to see which one I wanted. I did like the rose gold or pink MacBook Air, um, but it didn't have all the capabilities that I was looking for it to have. So what I'm gonna do right now, my husband is at work. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make pizza, well not make pizza, but cut pizza. We got pizza from Little Caesars and um go ahead and eat that and we're gonna watch the squid game now i don't know if the squid game is appropriate or not for my oldest son to watch he mentioned that people at school were talking about it and they were saying that they liked watching it and i really i never watched it so i'm gonna go ahead and read about it a little bit pull it up and see how it goes but if it's too graphic or not appropriate we probably won't be watching it so um that's that so i keep saying so so let's go ahead and continue on with the vlog and um, go ahead and prepare lunch. Okay, if you can hear that noise in the background, please just ignore it because I am washing clothes. So you probably can hear the washer and dryer going. the extra most bestest from the teasers. I've never tried it. This will be my first time trying the extra most bestest. So I hope, I hope that it's good. And I'll be drinking this today. Mountain Dew Cold Red. I don't think I tried that, so hopefully it's good. Which one do I want to be? This one. I'm pouring the garlic butter on it. I know, I know, I did make a vlog a few days ago talking about you want to start eating more healthy and I do. But baby steps, baby steps. And it's Saturday, <laughs> which which uh, means for me like cheat day, kind of.
and I have to get used to throwing pop cans away because down here, they don't collect pop cans. Up north, like in Michigan, I, I save pop cans and then you can take them to the grocery store and get money back on them. So I save pop cans, but like I said, down here, everyone throws them away. Um, the first time my husband came up north, I keep saying up north, that's because <laughs> a lot of people down here say up north when they refer to Michigan. But the first time that I um, that he came to Michigan and he saw a bag of pop bottles, he was like, why do you have a bag of pop bottles? And I'm like, because we take them and cash them in once you get a good amount, you know? It could be gas money, it could be, like I consider like a discount off your food. Let's say you have $15 in bottles and you go to the store and purchase something for 30, you're only paying 15. I mean, I don't know, it just, that's what I did. So, um, like I said, I have to get used to throwing these away because they don't even have like the 10 cent mark like around the pop like it does in Michigan. So, yep, I'm gonna go ahead and toss it. Oh, throw it out away. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat lunch and then I'll pick you all back up um, in just a minute. Okay, so I just got done recording the unboxing video for the uh, MacBook Pro and I'm gonna go ahead and set this stuff up, like the accessibility and connect it to my Wi-Fi and sign into my iCloud and everything uh, in just a moment once I get done cleaning up in here. This is like my new office. <laughs> I guess the bathroom, um, the office space that I initially intended on using, it is not the most convenient because it doesn't have like a door on it. So it, it's not as quiet as I need it to be when I'm filming. Um, the bathroom is more quiet. So I don't like it like that either. Let me take it down. So um, I've been using the bathroom to record. I did change my clothes. My husband's at work, like I mentioned a minute ago, but he did call me and tell me that he wants to go out to eat. So I just decided to put something else on. Um, I'm not saying there was anything wrong with what I had earlier, but I just wanted to wear something different to go out in. So I'm wearing this dress. I'll show you all the dress in just a minute. It's not a new dress or anything like that. It's one that I've had. I just don't wear it too often. So, if you do have a MacBook Air or MacBook Pro, leave some comments down below and let me know what you like about them. Because like I mentioned before, and I also mentioned in my unboxing video, I was really confused as to which one to get. I know it all depends on what you use it for, but you know, maybe leaving a comment and explaining how you were able to decide and what you use yours for will help somebody else make the decision as to which one they should get for themselves. to um, free up more space so I could continue recording the unboxing video and also this vlog but um I forgot that I didn't upload it to YouTube before I deleted it so I was like am I gonna be able to get back that video or not and thank god I was able to get it back so I'm gonna go ahead and put this chair back in the dining room and um go ahead and set up the laptop let's go ahead and continue cleaning up and then I'll meet you all back once I'm sitting on the couch comfortable setting up the MacBook.
home. Um, we actually um, had a good time last night uh, on our date night. I included a few clips from like my Snapchat and things in this video, but we went to get Jamaican food. We also went to this candy shop and I tried sea salt chocolate for the first time, which was so, so good. Um, we went to a lounge and chilled out there. And then we came home and watched a movie and went to bed. So it was really, really fun. I enjoyed it. And I really can't wait to go back to that lounge. That lounge was really, really fun. Um, but I do want to say that I am planning on doing a video going over how to, not even how to, but certain credit cards that are easier to obtain with challenge credit. Um, I do get questions asking which lending institutions I recommend you apply for or apply through if you are wanting to get like loans um, and your credit isn't the best. And, you know, a lot of people reach on the ask just my opinion on different financial decisions. And so I want to definitely um, provide as much information as I can. Having credit cards can definitely help to rebuild and also build your credit. Um, but it, it can be challenging to get a credit card, especially if you um, have challenged credit or if you don't have credit at all. So um, I think it's a little bit more challenging to get a credit card with challenge credit than it is if you don't have credit at all. Because a lot of times when you don't have credit at all, you will get different offers. I remember getting offers when I was like 18 years old for different credit cards. And um, if you don't know how to manage your credit cards that you take out, they definitely can damage your credit really fast. And so that's why a lot of people have a stigma around getting credit cards and they um, discourage others from getting cards. You know, they may say things like, don't get a credit card, it'll mess up your credit, or don't get a credit card. That's how my credit got messed up and things like that. And credit cards definitely can mess up your, or I don't even wanna say credit cards. If you don't use the credit cards correctly, um, yes, they can work against you. But if you do use your credit card strategically, they can be a huge milestone in your credit portfolio. They definitely can. They can definitely boost your credit score. So I'm going to be going over, I believe, three credit cards that I recommend you get if you do have challenge credit or apply for if you have challenge credit. So with that being said, I'm about to get in the shower, get my PJs on and get ready for bed. I just wanted to wrap up, wrap up this vlog. I do want to thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.